Welcome to the afternoon performance of uh, Giddy Up, Get Along, Gideon. Welcome. It is so glad, we're so glad to have you here with us this afternoon. The kids have been working very, very hard to on uh, their presentation, working on their lines, their dances, their solos, and so uh, welcome. Let's open this time in prayer together. Let's bow our heads. Uh, Father, thank you for your presence here. Thank you for your great love and your mercy and your grace. Thank you for each one of these kids that are going to sing. Thank you for the staff. Uh, we just ask your blessing on this uh, entire uh, time together that we spend. Um, your blessings are great. And we love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so just a quick, for, the, for those of you who were here this morning, forgive the redundancy, but um, this afternoon you, you will be seeing uh, 14 kids on the platform. Um, youngest being five and the oldest being in seventh grade and uh, very talented kids and uh, love to sing some attend church some attend this church some attend other churches some don't attend any church at all and uh, but we accept them all and we all sing together for Jesus so there is an offering basket in the back if you feel like uh, you want to help support the musical program through the kids choir um, there is an offering basket for you to help contribute, and we never turn down any donations. So, uh, The kids have been supporting Music Camp International, um, which is an organization over in Eastern Europe that helps kids um, recover from the traumas of life. Over there, there's been a lot of trauma with uh, the war going on in Ukraine and all that so much to the place where they can't have any music camps in Ukraine but they can in the surrounding countries and so the offerings that we take help the organization Music Camp International to help bring healing and and God's hope into their lives and so if you choose to contribute to that there is a fish bank cookie jar uh, thing in the side room with also a display there um, I do have some flyers and a sign-up list in the side room for our Fishtails Music Camp, which is going to be held in the middle of July. So, um, many fish for fishers of men. This is Fishtails Part 3. And uh, so, we want as many kids as we can. So, take the flyer, sign up. We also have a sign-up list and... Um, uh, flyers for the Kids Choir Musical come Christmas. Don't know what it is yet, been a little busy to decide on that, but uh, that will be coming. And so uh, any kids who want to become part of the choir, sign up on your list and, and leave your contact information, please. Uh, we do have finger foods afterwards today, so um, you're welcome to stay and share with us in that. Parents, there's a cast party on Tuesday from 3.30 to 5, so bring a snack and we'll share, uh, share food and uh, do some sanctuary cleanup too, I believe. There's a lot. And um, watch a, a video that, of other children that have done the same musical as that we're doing. Couldn't do this without a tremendous amount of help. Mr. Johnson, are you out there? I know you are. If you could come in and... Um, Kind of say a few words to the parent, the, the audience, please. He's, he, this is one time where I said, Mark, can you do this for me? And so he's our French director. He, his accent reminds me of Lieutenant Clouseau, if you're uh, familiar with uh, the Pink Panther, so. That's good, because that's what I was after, Bonnie. Yes. And, um, <clears throat> I don't know, I, I, I said this morning how we were just blessed with a great cast. And, uh, Bonnie has allowed me to actually do uh, quite a bit in, uh, in like adding some things in that we do in the play and I'm just thankful to you, Bonnie, for tolerating that and uh, I don't know, I'm thankful to all the parents too who bring their kids here and uh, just allow Bonnie and I to um, work with these great kids. They're so talented and it's so much fun. And it's just awesome work we can do for and with God. So, thank you. Give Mark John Johnson a hand. He's in here very diligently. 
So anyway, he has been real treasure. And as I mentioned this morning too, he could have said no to Kids Choir and yes to some high school plays that went on recently. But he chose us and that makes me feel very special. So he's, uh, and he's a local farmer here, organic farmer. So if you need any organic produce, go out to his farm on Higgins Lane. And uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays or the, the days, I don't know when they open up. Too early. May 15th through October, or May mid May through October, but anyway, so excuse my plug. <laughs> there you go, <laughs> and you deserve it. So, um, uh, some of the rest of our uh, uh, staff couldn't do this alone, and so I'm just going to list out who does what, and then we'll just give them a good round of applause when I finish up. Our sound in the back is Lala. Um, of the lights, Erica, her sister, set design with all the saddles and the railings and the cactus, um, Jory, another sister. So um, Jeanette and did props and costumes and she's the bomb. And uh, Kyle uh, Helper, uh, Kyle Taylor was a helper and came many Tuesdays to kind of help me corral some of these little wiggly ones, so I appreciate that. Um, snacks were served every week by Erica and Lena, who's one of the moms. Um, Ed and did the graphics, and some of the men did the church prep, putting up these lights. You know, just sanctuary prep, there was a lot of work to do with that. And I know where Helio had some, uh, some hand in that too. And uh, Lena also did some uh, photo shooting and is not done because we're going to take a few more pictures when the m musical's over. Give my cast a hand. They're just it's been a true blessing. <laughs> the biggest blessing is God's faithfulness to the kids choir. It's, he's truly uh, helped us through thick and thin and blessed and brought so many kids through these doors and onto this platform and uh, just pray that their lives are better for being a, as a part of the kids choir. As a, a small devotional thought, Celeste sings a solo and the words to her lyrics go, you are my friend. You will defend all who depend on you. Never fear, whenever you're near, you're always here with me. What great assurance that is, not only for Gideon in the program, but for each one of us to know that we have somebody who sticks by us through thick and thin, and he is always there. So with that, the kids' choir that meets at Ridley Christian Church now presents Giddy Up, Get Along, Gideon.
you guys, I think the coast is clear. You can come out now. Instead of sin, those good old days we used to know just seemed like such a long time ago. makes a grown cowboy want to cry more than how it has low down, good for nothing, varmints harassing your cattle and destroying your crops. You'd be crying too if you were in your suit's boots, uh, or sandal. You see, since Joshua had died, Israel had a, such a rough ride and so many ups and downs that Buck and Bronco would seem more like a pony ride outside of the thrifty room. They'd have great victories, but when they were all fat, dumb, and happy, Israel would up and just start being plain old dumb. Sometimes dumber than a gunny sack full of rocks. <laughs> They'd go out and start sinning against God, and that led to humil humiliating defeat and oppression. Each time, when things got bad enough, Israel, bellering like a lost calf, would come crawling back, crying out to God for deliverance. Each time, God would show his mercy and raise up a man or a woman to lead Israel to victory. Well, this time, the Midianites were the ones doing all the cattle rustling and for good measure, thrown and a little crop destroyed. The Bible says they were like locusts, totally devastating all the land. One thing you can't always count on, when God's children cry out to him, he hears it. First, God sent a prophet to refresh its children's memory and to encourage it.
Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, it was I who brought you up from Egypt, and brought you out from the house of slavery, and I delivered you from the hands of the Egyptians, from the hands of all your oppressors, and drove them out before you, and gave you the land. And I said to you, I am the Lord, your God, you shall not fear the gods of the Amorites in whose land you live, but you have not obeyed me. After the prophet's announcement, a messenger visited, visited this guy named Gideon and said God's plan for mess solving and emotion. Is it all clear, Father? Yes, son, but hurry. You can work with the grain here in the wine press, since it's not the season for grain, for wheat, for grapes, and I don't think the Midianites will think to look here for any wheat. But we've got to be very careful. The flour we get from this wheat will have to last us a long time. Yes, son. You work with the grain here, and I'll stand watch. Maybe later, if we can sneak another bundle in, I'll do the work, and you can stand watch. with you. It's true. Don't be downhearted. Time to get started. You snooze and you lose. Get on your running shoes. Stalling, you have a calling to write what's wrong in your land. What a plan! Great man of valor, this is your hour. You snooze and you lose. Get on your running shoes. talking about? Can't you see the trouble we're in here? Is this part of God's plan? The Lord is with you, valiant warrior. Now there's a good one. 10,000 comedians out of work, that you're making jokes? The Lord is with you, O valiant warrior. If God is with us, then why, then why are we in such terrible trouble? He brought us up out of Egypt, but now he has abandoned us, 
and given us into the hands of the Midianites. The Lord has chosen you to deliver Israel from Midian. How am I supposed to do that? I'm sure you know that my family is not very influential around here and that I'm the youngest member of my family. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't want anyone around here to hear me say this, but I kind of got left out when it comes to this bravery stuff. Yes, but we will be with you and enable you to defeat the Midianites as easy as fighting just one man. Well, that sounds just dandy, but frankly, I don't know you. And until I've got more to go on, I'm just not, go not going to get too excited about that possibility. that the message he was being given was from the Lord. He wasn't about to buy a pig in a poke. God obliged by sending fire that consumed the meal old Gideon has prepared for the stranger. Now this Gideon fellow was a little thick-headed, but when it finally dawned on him that the messengers were angels from the Lord, it brought him incredible peace in spite of the circumstances.
finally sent us here. Here's what you are to do. Go pull down the altar to Baal and the wooden idol next to it. I can't do that by myself. I'm just one guy. Have you seen the size of that idol? If you would just listen and let us finish, I was going to say you're going to need help. So take two bulls with you. Use the first bull to destroy the altar and the idol. Then when the job is finished, take the second bull and sacrifice it to the Lord. So Gideon, giddy up and get along. Now let me get this straight. You are, uh, the Lord is appointing me to be the chairman of the local urban redevelopment commission. Don't you understand that many of the local citizens aren't going to be very happy with this project? I've said it once, I've said it twice, don't make me say it thrice. Giddy up and get along! Anything else? Just one more thing. What's that? Get, get it done! to Baal. Yeah, and he cut down the idol beside the altar. And he deserves to die for that. So bring him out here or we're going after him. So let me get this straight. Baal is your all-powerful God, but you have to defend him? If I were an all-powerful God and someone tore down my altar, I'd want to get revenge myself. Let Baal fight for himself. Let Baal fight for himself. Yeah, I like the sound of that. I think I'll change Gideon's name to Jerubbabel, which means let Baal fight against him. No, 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 no. We cannot do that. It will not work. We must keep the name Gideon. But the sixth chapter of Judges clearly states that I changed Gideon's name to Jerubbabel. Shouldn't we keep the story as close to the real thing as possible? Well, we, uh, sure, well, I guess. We could try it. Okay, kids, we've got a, a little change to make here, and we're gonna try it before we continue with the musical. Here we go. Oh, no, no, no. Someone bring me the Bible. Oh, merci. Can't tell that change. It says in chapter 7 that he is referred to as both Gideon and Jerubbabel. So we are going to keep Gideon. Places, here we go. Well, Gideon, I guess they got this name thing strained out, but you've yet to finish what God is for you to do. What do you mean? Remember earlier I told you that the Lord has chosen you to deliver Israel from the camp of the Midianites? Oh yeah, about that. I've been thinking, if the Lord is really going to use me to deliver Israel as you say, I really think I need more to go on. I need to ask the Lord for a sign. What, what did, did you, you have, have in mind? mind? Well, I thought that I'd leave this piece of wool here on the threshing floor by night and ask the Lord to make the wool damp with dew in the morning, but keep the ground around it dry. 
that happens, now I know that what he says is true. As you might suspect, the Lord gave Gideon the reassurance that he needed, but that wasn't enough for Gideon. He had to have one more sign. If it was me, I'd be thinking about giving him the old rattlesnake the bedroll sign about now. The gods am I more patient than your average cowpoke. Once more, he provided the exact sign Gideon asked for. Finally, Gideon, along with 32,000 men, prepared to fight the Midianites. I really hate to tell you this, but if you take that many men into battle, they may become proud of them that they do with their own might. So you're going to have to have a reduction in force, as they say in the military. So Gideon, get rid of some of these guys. Now, wait a minute. You know that there are so many Midianites. They're like locusts swarming the land. And you think that I've got too many men? That's right. The Lord wants you to let everyone know that everyone who's afraid, go home. Remember the signs you've been given. The Lord is with you. All right, everyone listen up. Everyone who is afraid to go into battle against Midian can go home. You guys go <laughs> No, no, don't worry about us. We'll be fine. I was afraid you were going to take yourself up on that offer. Don't think I didn't consider it. I know this is tough on you, but I'm glad you're hanging in there. But I'm afraid we're not finished yet. Don't tell me. Yes, there's still too many. You can tell your troops and you can tell their number You can calculate even a quite them in your slumber But your confidence in the sum you find Oh, but you'll make a mistake and you're about to learn why It takes more than math, do you see? It ain't as easy as one, two, three, can count All numbers Within our many or by you That the Lord delivers you If you don't put your trust in the Lord I have got trouble each chance in a prairie fire One, two, three, can Why'd you lean on him? More, more to shake a man. Hang out on our numbers. In by many or by few. That the Lord delivers you. If you don't put your trust in the Lord Almighty, God, do Okay, okay. You say there are still too many men. There are still too many. 
I'm sure you got a plan to reduce the number, don't you? I thought you'd never ask. Take all your men down in the stream, those who are only concerned with drinking water, and kneel down and lap the water up like dogs. You don't want them. The ones you want are those who get on their knees and dip the water out of the stream with their hands and then drink with their hands. Do you mean they have to think about how they drink? Well, I guess you're right, but they won't know what you're looking for. What's that? What's that? What's that? You can lead your force to water, but you can't make them think. Right. Kind of shocks you right out of your boots, doesn't it? Gideon doing something just as the law directed. I know it's hard to believe. But he did, and as a result, only ended up with 300 men. That night, the Lord continued his plan and again spoke to Gideon. Out of the signs he had already received from the Lord, Gideon was still afraid, but the Lord was totally understanding and again provided a sign of assurance to Gideon. Why don't you take your servant and sneak down to the camp of the Midianites? You might be interested in what you discover. Guys, last night I... I think we're in big trouble, guys. Last night I dreamed that a big loaf of bread rolled in camp and flattened our tent. Oh no, not the old runaway bread roll nightmare. I haven't had that dream in a long time, but I did dream that I was walking down some stairs and I slipped. Do you guys have that dream? <laughs> this is no laughing matter. It can be other than the sword of Gideon. It's a sign that God has given our cap into his hand. That sign stopped Gideon right in his tracks. He was so in awe that the Lord would even tell the other side that they were going to lose that he took his time right there to worship. Then he returned to camp to finalize our battle plan. An unusual battle plan it was. All right, everyone, listen up. The Lord has given the Midian nice into your hands. Here's how we're going to do it. Line up. Trumpets in one hand, pitchers in the other. Make sure your torches are in your pitchers. What good is a tiny candle inside a pitcher? 
I'm sure the word will spread quickly. Boy, our families. Our families is gonna be happy. candidate for the role of hero. You may think of yourself as an unlikely candidate for any significant role in God's kingdom. The ma first thing you need to know, no matter where God has placed you, there is no insignificant roles to play. Also, remember, as Gideon learned, that no matter how unqualified you feel for the task, no matter how overwhelming the obstacles, and no matter how terrified of the possibilities you are, God understands those fears. But he still wants you to giddy up, get along, and get it done. You can always be sure he'll be your peace for the journey, your strength for the struggles, and your source for the victory.
want to introduce our cast to you. Starting with Gideon Isaac Boykin. Our messengers, Halsey Solander, Ainsley Swanson. Our narrators, Brielle Landis, Helia Hildebrand, Amethyst Knight, and Celeste Watson. Joash, played by Marcus Hildebrand. Our prophet, played by Isabella Taylor. Our French director, played by Mark Johnson. Our happy shoe dancers, Etta Boykin, Lila Watson, Declan Hildebrand, Charlie Hildebrand, Huntley Smith. become our afternoon tradition to let the kids uh, introduce themselves and so we will do that once we finish with the torches and the trumpets thank you so much for coming didn't they do a great job I was just okay kids so I'm going to ask you to say your name and your age can you do that and I need you to stand when you say your name and age we'll start over here with Lila, five. Halsey, Halsey Solander, nine. My name is Charlie and I'm six. I'm Brielle and I'm 11. I'm Isabella and I'm nine. I'm Kelia and I'm nine. I'm Isaac Boykin and I'm 10. My name is Declan and I'm 6. My name is Edda and I'm 6. My name is Celeste and I'm 8. My name is Huntley, My name's Huntley and I'm 5. <laughs> I'm Amethyst and I'm 11. I'm Joe Ash and I'm 104, but when I'm Marcus, I'm 11. <laughs> My name's Ainsley and I'm 12. <laughs> and the kids, the kids call me Miss Bonnie and I'm not gonna tell you how old I am, so. Or, I'm old enough to know better, okay? He, I don't think he's going to say either. So anyway, the kids have learned two memory verses that they would like to share with you now uh, using sign language. Let's do it.
and what important verses those are. They were important to uh, Gideon, and all those concepts, and important to the kids. We are going to say a prayer. Remember that there are um, finger fruits downstairs, so please share a time of fellowship with us. Um, the kids are going to have a group picture, and there are a couple of extra pictures that we need to take that we didn't take yesterday, so don't, so hang around there. Um, anyway, um, would one of you like to pray and thank God for, Etta, you want to pray for us? Okay. Do you need help? Dear God, we love you. We love to sing for you. Amen. Thank you so much. You are dismissed. Thank you so much. Remember the sign-up uh, list and the uh, flyers in the side room.